We're at Cinema Paradiso in Northbridge for the opening night of the French Film Festival. What an amazing night it is and we're about to head in there to speak to some of the organisers and a few of the attendees of the event. Galeons Ponces de Perth, we have the French Film Festival every year, Australia-wide, so we're doing the Perth part of that. Um, Alliance Francaise is a, is a worldwide organisation basically sponsored by the French government to, to spread French language and French culture. So it's non -pro not for profit but the, the film festival is our big annual event where we rendezvous with French cinema. So we're the organisers in conjunction with the other, the other Alliance Francaise in Australia. So it's Australia wide so tomorrow we st it's already started in Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane. Tomorrow it will start in uh, Hobart and Adelaide. And so this is our big night in Perth. And the, the film festival goes until the 4th of April. So tonight's the opening night. Um, tomorrow night and tonight we've got Laurent Lafitte, who's one of the well-known French actors. Um, he was a key actor in a film called See You Up There, um, which will be screened tomorrow night. And um, so it's not often you get a, uh, a well-reputed French actor in Perth, in person. So we're looking forward to meeting him tonight. The festival gets bigger and bigger every year. I think last year was a record and the year before, so we're hoping for another record this year. French cinema is, is really popular in Australia and you know, I think there is a connection between France and Australia. And you know, We were nearly a French colony, um, but you know, there's a lot of camaraderie between the French and Australians. So uh, you know, we, this is our big night and we, we all love it. Are you enjoying the film festival here? Yeah, there's a great um, atmosphere here tonight. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Do you, do you think they've captured the ambiance for a French film festival? I think so, with the, um, with the violin in the background. and It's nice when people get dressed up and make an effort. And Yeah, it's a classy place. And what, what do you feel is uh, the main reason you're here tonight? Well, I, lo I love the French film festival. I love unique movies, um, something a bit different from the mainstream. Um, American type movie. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what they got to offer tonight. Philippe, welcome and uh, how are you enjoying Perth? Um, uh, thank you, it's my first time in Perth so uh, I'm enjoying it a lot. Yeah. The ambience and energy here has been so amazing for the opening night. Um, it feels kind of like you're at a wedding. Um, what do you think about that? Yeah, yeah, but it's a great idea because it's very relevant with the theme of the, the, fi the, the film, that is the, which is the, uh, the opening uh, film, C'est la vie, le sens de la fête, because it's, a, it's the story of a wedding. Perfect, that fits with the theme. And so how, how are these films selected, uh, Philippe? Well, it's very difficult. It's, it's a long process to find the good, the appropriate uh, opening film. Uh, it has to be uh, enjoyable by the the, the biggest uh, amount of people, and of course, we pre-select a few films which can become the opening film, and then we make a decision. And eventually, C'est la vie was uh, definitely the best film to uh, open the festival because it's very. It's very funny, but it's also very generous. So it's a gift that we give to, to our audience for the opening film. And it, it gives the, 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 the atmosphere of the festival. And so is there any particular, out of all the movie lineups for the film festival for the next few weeks, is there any particular one that is your favorite? I have my favorites, but I think the audience should find their own favorites. Uh, I would encourage the audience to see BPM, Beat Per Minute, which is uh, a very important film, which was a very important film for 2017. Uh, it won the Grand Prix in uh, Cannes last year. Uh, it's a film by Robin Campillo about uh, uh, ACT UP and the activism in the 90s. Uh, it's, it's an amazing film, it's a masterpiece. And there is also Custody, which is a first feature film. Uh, and it's an amazing film as well, which won uh, the Silver Lion in Venice, uh, though it's a first film. Uh, and it's a great film with an amazing ca casting, uh, great characters, it's, it's fabulous. And of course, of course, See You Up There uh, by Albert Dupontel with Laurent Lafitte, who is our guest uh, for the festival this year. 
It seems like the French Film Festival is growing and growing and reaching more popularity each year. Yeah. Uh, and it feels like this is one of the biggest events outside of France for French film and cinema. Yeah. What are your thoughts of that? Yeah, yeah it's the biggest uh, festival dedicated to French films outside France, which is amazing. Uh, so what, what, I'm, what I think about it, I think that we have to do everything possible to make it even more popular. And maybe now we have reached a, a certain size, I think we have to give the audience um, a new kind of experience as well. Not only seeing films and maybe drink a glass of wine, drinking a glass of wine in front of a film, but also meet, meet actors and filmmakers and it's what we are we have done since last year is that now we have guests for the festival last year we had uh, two filmmakers this year we had three guests which is amazing and so it's a it's also a way to give our audience a new an additional experience not only seeing films but also meet the talents which is very important as well to know uh, a bit more about what they've seen and uh, have the backstage uh, uh, experience of the films. What an amazing opening night for the French Film Festival. Bastadros for Undercurrent.